I'm gonna show you how to make a layout sandwich in ArcGIS Pro, into which you can stuff all sorts of ingredients that appear only selectively. When it comes to map neat lines, generally I take a pass, except when the content interrupts the neat line. Here's an ArcGIS Pro project with an imagery base map and an oceans shape file that I downloaded from Natural Earth Data. With the base map layer selected, I'll go into the ribbon menu and I'll expand the masking option and choose that oceans layer. And now I can just turn this layer off and we can see that my base map is now masked by my ocean shape file, effectively making the oceans transparent. Next, I'll open up the catalog and I'm gonna make a copy of this map. So I have two maps in this one project. That's one of the great things about ArcGIS Pro it's project based. You can have any number of maps, any number of layouts, it rules. And then I'll rename both of these so I can keep them straight. One I'll name masked and one I'll name unmasked. And then I'll open my unmasked map and actually unmask it. And I'll just get rid of this ocean layer since there will be no masking in this map. So one regular map with oceans and one where the oceans have been boiled away. And now it's time to create our layout. So I'm going to insert a new layout. I'll choose a custom page size and I'll make the width 19.2 inches and the height 10.8 inches because this is the aspect ratio of most monitors. Into this new layout, I can insert my unmasked map frame. Snapping is turned on and I'll fill the layout. And then my masked map frame. And I'll rename these map frames so I can stay organized. And now we have a layout sandwich with a bottom map view and a top map view. Now here's an important step. I'm going to open up the properties of this top map view and I'm going to link its geographic position to that of the bottom map view so that they stay in sync. This means that when I activate the geographic view of my bottom map frame, when I pan and zoom, the top map frame will race to keep up. So I have two distinct map frames, but their scale and position are locked together which means that we've laid the groundwork for our layout sandwich, and now we can stuff it with fixins. So let me just roll these two root level map frames up, and I'm going to insert a rectangle. And I'll draw a rectangle over the extent of my layout, and I'll open up the properties for this rectangle and choose the symbol, and I can style it up here. I'll go to the Layers tab, and I'm gonna make this outline white, and a little bit thicker. And then I'm gonna give it a negative offset so that it renders inside the layout. I'll close this and now I can drag this rectangle between my two map frames. And now I have a neat line that's appropriately stepped on. Now let's add a graticule to this bottom most map. I'll insert a grid and I'll just choose any old option here. And we'll take a look at the properties for this grid. I'll expand the map frame and open the properties for the grid. And I'm gonna remove all of the elements except for grid lines and I'll make the symbol 50% transparent white instead of gray. And now we have a graticule only in the oceans, where they belong. Stepping on over the neat line or fine tuning how your map accoutrement render is one of the unspeakable pleasures of cartography. And it's got a rich history. And if you like this video, you might like this other video where we really show the neat line who's boss.